Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where in this series we solve uh, Litco technical interview questions um, later on probably some other technical inter interview questions when I'm done with all the Litco ones and um, let's see let's try occurrences after bigram sounds weird so 10 1078 occurrences after bigram given words first and second Consider occurrences in some text of the form first, second, third, where second comes immediately after first, and third comes immediately after second. So text first, second, what is the third though? For each such occurrence, add third to the answer <laughs> uh, and return the answer. So I guess my first Wait, 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 wait. Um, given words, so we have two words. Consider occurrences in some text of the form blah, blah, blah. So it means that any substring of this text, right? Let's see. Our text, Alice is a good girl, she is a good student. First is A, second, good. Okay, these are basically really words. Uh, output would be girl and student what wait <laughs> for each such occurrence add third to the answer and return the answer uh, this oh i see so girl is the third um, basically the word that is uh, succeeding both those two words so basically when we have a case where we find these two words uh, we can basically put out the next one and uh, again we have a and good as well another case and we put out the next one uh, again okay let's see our second um, input we will we will rock you and we have we will um, of course, the first case of a third word would be the we. The second case would be the rock. And we rock. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. Let's see the... the uh, How is it called? Restri uh, constraints. The text length could be anything between one character and a thousand characters. I mean, if it's one character, I don't see how you can... Uh, well, maybe there are cases where, for example, let's see, do we get something like first and second consi consists of lowercase English letters. Text consists of space separated words where each word consists of lowercase English letters. So it's it cannot be easier, at least in this sense. And uh, first length is at least one, second length as well, most 10. And that means we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't really have to handle anything like empty uh, words. I hope that maybe later uh, we can solve some other questions, like maybe at medium difficulty. I'll have to check that I also have a bunch of pretty interesting uh, edge cases to, to handle as well. Because, I mean, the algorithm itself is interesting, but also kind of cool to think about edge cases. And they never ever give us any, <laughs> like they, they make it the most straightforward possible. Um, yeah, I assume that's why they are easy, right? I don't know. I'll check it out. So, uh, how will we solve our algorithm? Uh, while reading, I, I kind of got an idea. Okay, why don't we just separate each of those words into a uh, array, right? So basically, everything will be an element in the array. We can just uh, kind of like go over the array. When we find our first matching word, we just go and look at the second one. If we find the second one to be as well, matching as well, then we just take the third one. If there is possibility for a third one, because maybe they are like the second to last and the last uh, word, then, then there wouldn't be any very last one, right? So we also have to kind of look ahead and see, okay, is there an index here at any, like at all? If there is one, we take it, put it in the output and then um, just to be kind of like universal, I wouldn't even skip, maybe I'll just skip two indices. Um, yeah, why not? Let's try and work with an iterator again. 
So we will have an iterator and it will be uh, enumerating all the text. That means now we will have the index and the element as well. And it will be actually uh, text and um, we'll basically split on an empty line. So we'll basically get a list out of that. And I'm not even sure, so let's quickly check that. Let's print uh, what would be a word and and another word. Oh my God, I'm not typing correctly. Uh, and then we're gonna split on an empty, on basically on space. I'm expecting to get an array and I got an array. Okay, so let's have our array. Um, and I could save it, but I wouldn't. Um, like I could save it in a variable, but in this case, I mean, it's so tiny. Uh, we'll have our output. It will be an empty list for now. And now um, we could actually shorten our algorithm and say, if um, the length of text is just one, we know we wouldn't really be able to do our thingy. Actually, even, even two would also be a problem, right? So uh less than three well even that like let's think about it the minimum word would be single character then we will need a space so we get two the second word minimum would be a single character so three then a space four then we, we actually starting at five um so anything less than five will definitely not not be able to give us uh three words this is the minimum uh, and then we'll, we'll just return out like this. So this is our short um, kind of edge case. So uh, for the other parts, we got ourselves uh, ourselves an iterator. One eternity later. Yeah, the the, the problem. I kind of saw the problem. Now, now I'm not really kind of confused about it, but. Uh, I think the best approach would be to just simplify our whole thingy. And what I mean by that is we can actually just do something like this. We can just go over each word. And I thought, okay, let's just look at the second word. Um, and that would mean that if word would be, for example, the second, and that our index plus one is less less or uh, equal to the length of words. This, this would basically mean or would basically stay the same. And and of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be this should be the case. Um, if we find the, the second word, uh, for example, and uh, let's say. We find the second word. We know that the next word is a possible word. And also we want to see that, um, let's see, uh, that there is a word before that. And that would mean index minus one is um, greater or equals to zero. That means there is at least a zero of index. And so basically we know, okay, there is something at the end that we can look uh, at. There is something beforehand, like before the second word. And if this something, that means if words index minus one is equal to the first word, then we are basically in the middle, right? We are looking at the second word. We know that there is a possible case for a first word and a possible case for a third word. And we see that the, the previous word is actually also the, the first word, then we can actually take the third word. And that's all. <laughs> it's actually a, uh, so what would that be? Words index plus one. And that is all, right? And then we move again. And again, we, we look uh, at the next word. Again, if it's a second word and the first one 
Yeah, this could still happen, right? If you get the same two words, I'm not sure if the description said that they should be different. It never said that they should be different, right? So if you had something like, uh, I'll still have this case here, but like if you had words, AA, 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 and then first would be AA, second would be AA. Uh, when you are here, let's have another one, you know, something like this. When you are here, you could be looking at this one and this one, okay, everything matches, you take this one and then you're here and again you see the second word, right? You see, oh, there is a, a space for first word and it's actually the first word again and you take this one and you're here, you see, okay, there is no space forward, so I'm actually just gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna go inside here. But yeah, this some, something like this should should be possible, and I'm not sure. Like they, they didn't say there is no possibility of uh, duplicate uh, first and second words, right? And as you can see, that's the case. Okay, um, let's have this case back, and kind of, um, I'm kind of wondering. Now it's accepted. We really simplified our algorithm, and I think this is what uh, should have we should have done from the very first <laughs> time. Um, but I, I didn't have it in, in yeah, kind of like in, in mind. Uh, but that's, that's the, the beauty of it. I think at the end, when you're solving these questions, uh, like in technical interviews, kind of having this type of thinking that uh, like just to see the final simplification of things. Uh, really helps because basically now we are only running through the index like through the whole array only once and we are only looking at very specific cases um, and sure okay we, we do some simple arithmetic here but like almost nothing like like this is probably uh, hard-coded when you when we did this thing here and this is very simple arithmetic uh, again simple arithmetic simple arithmetic logic I guess um, I would say these are like con constant runtime for us. This uh, again, probably constant. So we are only doing linear time when it comes to runtime complexity. And when it comes to space type com complexity, again, probably um, sublinear at most. Yeah, it would be basically at, at most kind of like a bit less than linear um, uh, or actually linear, of course. We, we do have the input array, but still, um, very, very, what seemed very easy at the beginning turned out to be kind of complicated. Maybe I complicated it myself again with this iterator, but I will kind of learn with that. Uh, so stick with me, guys. I think it's very, uh, it's worth actually having control of the iterator at some point. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was interesting. It turned out to be a very, very simple solution at the end. So that's what I liked about it. Uh, let me know what do you think about this solution and um, yeah if you're new to the to the channel and uh, you want to see more of those questions being solved in a kind of like interview kind of fashion um, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time bye bye